You see OG Jabuba, that guy? Half of Miami's first 16 plays were passes, and the Dolphins scored on their first two possessions. Sam Daly, the last two years, the Cowboys head coach, the offensive coordinator for Miami. Sits in this play. receivers to the left side the middle one's Leslie Shepard they run everybody off they caught him in the zone and like you said they spread them out nobody down the middle of the field Leslie Shepard just runs a deep post look at a tight spiral what a great pass Dan Marino never threw a better pass than this one barely five minutes into the game Miami led 10 to nothing the crowd is stunned and on its third possession, Miami's offense continued to be stunning. Smith follows Conrad around the right, leaps over a defender. He's to the 40, the 45, gets away from Cross. He's at the 40 and going down the sideline to the 15, the 10. Touchdown, Miami! Lamar Smith on a 68-yard run for a touchdown. Oh, man alive. Is anybody going to tackle anybody here? Lamar Smith had great blocking up front, and then it was the Lamar Smith show. <laughs> and he left Jet defenders in his wake, and then it was nothing but green grass and the end zone. How about that? Have fun, man, especially when it's like this. We got behind 17-0 after only six plays on offense, so your, your plan goes kind of down the drain at that time. You have to get back in the game quickly, so we had to retool and go in a different direction. We're going to try to do something big to get the momentum back. This is the largest deficit they've had to face this year. The Dolphins have allowed only three touchdowns all season. Here's Testaverde back to pass. Good protection. Throws over the middle. It's picked off. Intercepted at the 43-yard line. Sam Madison. In the second quarter, Miami led 20 to nothing. And there were barely seven minutes remaining in the half before the Dolphin defense yielded a first down. We're too fast for that! We're too fast for that! Whatever could go wrong for the Jets was going wrong in a big way in front of millions on Monday Night Football. Out of the field, it is intercepted. Picked off down the far sideline, Patrick Sertay. <laughs> Boy, I'm liking this. You all right? Crap, man. <laughs> How can you not be when you only got 15 off? The Jets' only response to Miami's attack was a scoring pass from Benny Testaverde to Wayne Corbett, just 51 seconds before halftime. But that was quickly forgotten when Miami countered with a field goal that gave the Dolphins a commanding 23-7 lead. It was nice going into halftime with the lead. 23 but we did talk at halftime about, you know, the game's not over. It's still, we got 30 minutes left, and anything could happen. And, uh, you know, let's not go out there and let it have a letdown. Now a girl can only wonder when the real Jets, such as they've been this year, will show up, including this man, Vinny Testaverde. Come back, baby. Yes, sir. They ain't coming back on us. No, come on now. In the third quarter, the Jets' mistakes continue. Looking over the left side, fires over the left side, over, throws his man, intercepted. And Testaverde continues to be way off tonight. That is the third pick of the evening. Marcus Coleman's interception was encouraging, but trailing 23-7 with just over three minutes to go in the quarter, the Jets had to gamble. Fourth down for the Jets. A fourth down at about three inches to go for a first down. Hands it off to Richie Anderson. He is not going to get it. Richie Anderson is going to lose yardage on that play. Oh, 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 how about that? Oh, how about that? I've seen that many people ahead of the exits in a 16-point ball game with three minutes to play in the third quarter. Uh oh, they're heading for the exits, though. Heading for the exits. The Dolphins had lost their four previous meetings with the Jets, a streak that seemed destined to end as Lamar Smith gave Miami a 30-7 lead as the third quarter ended. Now they can leave, Joel. They're on their way. They are on their way. Where are they going, though? It's still early. Where y'all going? And with a whole quarter to go, this game is over. It's with Jersey. The Jets were frustrated. Al Groh was furious, but he still believed in his team. Well, I think my parents, who used to call me the terrible-tempered Mr. Bang, uh, probably would say that I've been that mad before. But what the players see in the face of the head coach is always important. And I wanted them to see that I truly believed that I was willing to fight to win the game. But 
looking at the looks that I saw and the disappointment and kind of the droopy eyes, I didn't know if that fight was there, but I damn sure had it. And I wanted to make sure that everybody else did too. With Miami leading 30 to 7 as the fourth quarter began, many New York fans headed home to the city that never sleeps. Unfortunately for them, that's when their Jets finally woke up. Then he back to throw again, wanting a touchdown, lobbing into the end zone, and it's intercepted. Touch, oh, touchdown, it was taken away by Cole. How did he catch that one? Cole's catch was an interception. Uh, Cole's intercepted the ball from Madison. That ball was intercepted for a second, and Cole's just ripped it out of the hand. He took it out of Sam Madison's grasp. Hey, Sam, that's a good catch, man. Don't worry about it. And that was the touchdown that got us started and probably the least artistic of them all. So I think probably that's one that really kind of started opening the spigot for us. You got to look at that one play and say, well, if Madison makes the interception, uh, you know, the Jets are dead. Uh, we thought they were dead earlier. They would have really been dead then. And most improbably, the Jets have scored a touchdown. We're going to get them. They keep everything in the backfield like that, we're going to get them. Now the Jets are in their two-minute hurry-up offense, which I think is good. So do I. And, you know, come on, let's go. Let's keep moving in here. We'll show a little up. bit of passion. With Vinny Testaverde calling his own plays, the Jets marched right down the field on their second possession of the quarter. And when Testaverde found tight end Jermaine Wiggins for a touchdown, the Jets were within 10 points of Miami. Give up 20 points. Unreal. Offense getting complacent. We're starting to bend a little bit. We gotta pick it up. We gotta suck it up, man. And all of a sudden, what looked to be a walk in the park for Dave Wanstead is anything but. Let's forget about everything that's happened. And we gotta rise up and play. Exactly. Like we can play. We're champions, we we gotta make a play. End it right here. We gotta make the difference, man. We got, we're gonna have to go back and win it. It's gonna be on us. We gotta get people down and kick them, man. We... The Jets' offense provided a spark, and Fireman Ed and the rest of the New York fans that remained were ready to fan the flame. The Dolphins and Jay Fiedler were losing their lead and their aggressiveness, while Vinny Testaverde was finding his rhythm. I could see in his eyes that he believed that we could keep scoring. And that's what I wanted to see, and I had great faith and trust in him. Wisdom of Al Gross sticking with Vinny Testaverde. Testaverde took the game over from a leadership standpoint, from accountability standpoint. And here comes Vinny and the Jets. Testaverde was staging a momentous comeback, but he wasn't in any hurry. He chipped away with short passes to a variety of receivers. Now you can start to see the wisdom of what they're doing in terms of naked backfield, no beating backfield. Everybody spread out, and it's taken away the scheme of the Miami Dolphins. I think they did a good job of scheming as far as protecting him. With the backs tipping, the tight end tipping, getting rid of the ball pretty quick. <laughs> Now you look at the defensive linemen of the Miami Dolphins. They are all breathing heavily. As bad as Vinny Testaverde played for three quarters tonight, and he played horribly, he is playing just the opposite. He's magnificent right now. Testaverde was on his way to a 235-yard fourth quarter. And after John Hall connected on a 35-yard field goal with just under six minutes remaining, the Jets trailed by just a touchdown. We done messed up and let him back. Hey, offense! We need it right here, man. We need it bad. On Miami's ensuing possession, former Dolphin Brian Cox put a quick end to another short Dolphin drive. Cox has got it! And sacks him back at the five-yard line! was very, very ugly. This is total disbelief by the few thousand that still remain. And for those Jets fans who left this stadium about an hour ago, have we got news for you. I was very appreciative of, of those who stayed. Uh, um, we certainly hadn't given them much reason to do so, um, other than the hope that was in our heart, and, and there was no camera there showing that. You know, only we knew that. Their enthusiasm throughout the fourth quarter uh, it, it was just there was 200,000 people there. It is beyond comprehension. We are in the midst of a meltdown of classic proportion. We had all the momentum in the first half. Everything was going our way. 
And it seemed like, you know, in the fourth quarter, things started to snowball, snowball a little bit, and they started picking up a lot of momentum. And But in the back of our minds, back of my mind especially, I just thought one play is all it's going to take. We just need one play, baby. We just need one play, man. Give me a second, I'm going to get there. I'm telling you. Give me a second, I'm going to get there. One big sack and a fumble or an interception or, you know, maybe a defensive score, you know, the place is going to empty out. We got the ball game, let's go home. Right now. Make something happen. We can never stop the avalanche. The Dolphins were being buried under a barrage of passes. And with just under four minutes to go, Miami's lead completely melted away. but it's not even an emotion. The Jets are way ahead right now. It took the Dolphins just over 11 minutes to blow a 23-point lead. It took them one play from scrimmage to regain. Wide open, Leslie Shepard, do you believe it? And the Jets get torched once again by Leslie Shepard. The emotions, the ebb and flow of this game, incredible. I thought that Fiedler's touchdown pass was awesome because it gave the Dolphins the feeling that they had for three quarters of the game, that, that they were in control. Okay, we let you score, we let you get back in the game. Boom, we're, we're back in, in control now. What a play by Fiedler. What's going on here? Where was this game when we started? Hey, we ain't done now. It's on us again. It's about time we start being complacent. Unfazed, Vinny and the Jets went back to the no huddle in the naked backfield and undressed the Dolphins' defense again. Virtually no pass rush by the Miami Dolphins, and this is what that hurry-up offense does to you. Running backs Curtis Martin and number 20 Richie Anderson, who had a game-high 12 receptions, accounted for nearly all of the Jets' yardage on their fifth and final scoring drive of the fourth quarter. With two minutes remaining, the Jets faced a crucial fourth and one from Miami's four-yard line. This is unbelievable. Yeah. It's fourth down and one at the four-yard line. For everything we work for, man, it's right here for us, all right? Let's go, man. Push that pocket, guys. Come on. I'm going to get it. Watch. You push it, I'll get it. I'm telling you, I'll come give you a big hug and a kiss. Maybe not a kiss, but I'll give you a hug. So it comes down to this. Oh, baby, this is the game. This is the ball game. Four from the yards and half. That's a pretty back to throw. Fires. Graham May. Anderson got it. He's got a first down. That's a first down. As he took that a shot of the two. One type of big time catch what by Richie Anderson. Huge what a great catch. catch. He took a monster hit. Following Anderson's big time catch, the Jets look for a real big time receiver. 76 is eligible. Vinny under center. Play action. Comes it over the middle. be embarrassed, man. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Jumbo got tight bump and run coverage from the outside. Gave a little shake to the inside. Go ahead, analyze this thing out. <laughs> Big man almost it's dropped just... it. Big man almost dropped he it. He thought it was a hamburger. What next in this game? Jumbo checking out the Jumbotron here at Giant Stadium. What is going through Jumbo Elliott's mind as he first bobbles that ball? Holy smokes, this is going to be OT, boys. Consider this about the fourth quarter of the Midnight Miracle. Following Lavernius Cole's touchdown, which made the score 30 to 13, the Jets decided to go for two points. Had they kicked the extra point, they might have won the game in regulation. Why are they going for two points here? I just don't go for two until no. I have to. You're chasing ghosts. John Hall's game-tying extra point was nearly missed and it marked the end of one of the wildest 15 minutes in football history. In the fourth quarter, Miami registered one first down. The Jets, who took over 23 minutes in the first half to earn their initial first down, had 20 in the quarter. Vinny Testaverde threw 26 passes in the quarter. 
He was not sacked, and he joined Joe Montana and Ken Stabler as the only other quarterbacks to throw four fourth-quarter touchdown passes in a game. Three of Testaverde's strikes went to players who had never scored an NFL touchdown. You look at the three touchdown passes that uh, got the Jets where they wanted to go. Uh, Lavernius Coles had no business catching that ball. Sam Madison should have picked it off clearly. Uh, they get a tight end free in the end zone being guarded by Trace Armstrong. That's a pretty good matchup. And then the trick play to, to Jumbo Elliott, who did his best to drop it before catching it. I think you got three of the most unique type of scoring plays you'll ever see. And uh, there's something special about the Jets. Somehow, New York scored 30 points in 15 minutes without a Miami turnover. The Dolphins did, however, commit nine penalties in the fourth quarter. I cannot believe we got all them penalties. We ain't got a call all day, man. I ain't gonna complain. I'm gonna keep playing. I wouldn't like one, though. I'd like one. With the Jets scoring so often, Miami's Brock Marion was busy. He had 142 yards in kickoff returns in the quarter and he gave Miami good field position to begin what fittingly would be a bizarre overtime. Hey, everything else that happened is over. It's a new game now. The direct snap to Fiedler. Looks to the left. The slant picked off by Marcus Coleman. He's to the 40, then he fumbles the ball, and it is recovered by the Dolphins. It's the first down, right? It's the first down, right, for us? First down. First down. Marcus Coleman had made the play, and then Thurman Thomas knocked it loose. It's <laughs> a hell of a way to get a first well, you know down. What? It goes with the entire <laughs> evening. It fits. I'm talking about Lucky. I'm talking about Lucky. Oh, oh, Marcus Coleman goodness. is sick. Well, you know, you get only so many chances to really make a significant play. Marcus Coleman had his chance. My stomach is, like, turning right now, man. One more first down, and they'll be in field goal range. It's on. They pick it up and throw out to the left, and Coleman makes it. Gadsden tried to come back to the ball, and I think he slipped a little bit, and Coleman went right over the top of him. Like I said before, you only have so many chances to make a play in a football game. I think he was listening. Run your team, baby! Run your team! New York continued operating out of a no huddle in overtime. And when Benny Testaverde found Wayne Trebek, the Jets were in field goal range. Move the chain, baby! Move the chain! Testaverde's final pass of the night, however, nearly ruined a masterful comeback. Another look. Yeah. Yes, it hit the ground. Good call. But... At 1.22 a.m., John Hall ended the longest Monday night game ever. Any chance his foot can fall asleep? And completed the greatest comeback in Jets history. 40 yards. It's up, it's on its way, long enough, high enough. It's good, and the Jets win it over.